the Spartan Mind Strength Podcast, the podcast for mental grit and resilience. Hosted by V. Binga and Tim Ganley. Hello, this is Tim. And this is V. And we're back. We are back. So we're going to be talking about Venus. Yes, the Venusian New Year. Sweet. And when are we going to talk about Venusian New Year? As soon as we get back. (laughs) Stay tuned. And we are back now. And we're back. For good. Yep. We, <laughs> we can, are here to stay. Yep. We've been doing a lot on property, and that's one of the reasons why we had to uh, cut back, actually cut off podcasts. was a lot of work going on here on property. We built a gym. Mm-hmm. We already had Puppy, but Puppy is now almost a dog. It, yes. Uh, we got a kitten, who yes. is now almost cat. <laughs> yes. uh, we uh, built... Uh, more on the property, a screen room, a uh, outdoor gym, uh huh, a place for our sauna, a work room for all the tools and stuff. Uh, we put in concrete. We made a cigar room. Yes. Uh, we also made an area that uh, we can actually screen in, and now we can wash our clothes here. Even yes, <laughs> <laughs> we finally got a washer and dryer. So <laughs> they are not hooked up yet. Not though. hooked up yet. So we've been doing a lot on property to actually make this area livable mm-hmm. and sustainable. Yes. So our for Kitty and Poppy. Yep. For <laughs> our gym, it's completely solar. Yes. And it does have some propane uh, for backup, but it's completely solar, solar off grid. And we'll talk more about everything else we've done here. But right now, tomorrow is what. Tomorrow is a new moon, and it is also the moment that the Venus enters Aries, and that is considered the new year for Venus. Aries is the is considered the beginning of the zodiac process. Uh-huh. Aries is the start of everything, and. Uh, Venus enters Aries, and it won't complete this until next year, early April. And and I have a question, because uh, one of the other things, you know, we've been talking a lot about yoga, fitness, mm-hmm. Ayurveda. Why are we talking more now about... Venus? No, about the planets. Astrology. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, the... You are going to school. Yes. Uh, it. yes. Yeah, we forgot about that, yes, right? Yes, I didn't forget. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. You're I'm getting going... certified as an astrologist. Yes. Yep. Going through the three levels right now as we speak, which was another reason it's hard to talk when you're reading like crazy, huh? Exactly. It's, uh, yeah, when you're going through very, I, I never thought it would be as intense as it is. And I've gone through some, pretty freaking intense studies in mm-hmm. my life. Okay, the planets. We've talked, yeah, yoga, Ayurveda, meditation, and now the planets. Why? Because the planets are teaching us the universal law. It is how the universe operates. Yoga and Ayurveda help us understand the natural law. Our body. Our body and our connection to our natural environment. The planets tell us what the universal law is at that time, right? How how to live in tune with the bigger picture. Now, why do we need to understand the universal law? Well, first of all, we can have an um, amazing life, amazingly 
productive, fulfilling life, whatever, without understanding any of this, mm -hmm. right? It doesn't mean you have to understand astrology to live a fulfilling life, right? But if you, if you are not happy where you are at some point in time, if you are lost, then understanding, looking into that, into the universal law, can give you guidance. It, it's like you are you are going, you know, you are going uh, outside, right? And the weather is frightful, right? The weather outside is. Frightful. And you are not prepared for mm -hmm. that weather, right? <clears throat> and I didn't you, know it was going to thunder. Exactly. So you can accept that and say, okay, I need to go back in, get the right gear for this weather, and it's all good, mm -hmm. right? And then you can deal with the elements, you can deal with the weather and have an awesome time, right? But if you don't, if you don't think, if it doesn't cross your mind that getting the right gear for that weather will make a big difference, and you are trying to fight the weather and all that, then you can get discouraged and disappointed and, and wet and wet and sick and everything, right? Okay. It is something as simple as that. It is, it is just the, you don't have the right gear for that challenging weather. And as you always say, it's an unfair advantage. It's an unfair advantage, exactly. Exactly. And so that's the reason why, in a nutshell, because mm -hmm. we like to talk in quickly about certain things. Yeah, I went a little. Uh... No, that's that's good. What is the Victorian Venus? The Venusian. <laughs> the Venusian New Year. The okay. Ven the Venusian New Year is a very poetic uh, way to say Venus enters into Aries and starts starts a whole new cycle which is gonna last just a little over a year. And this is now, coming out tomorrow. Yes. What day does this happen exactly? Tomorrow. What yeah. day is Monday. That? It's gonna be Monday. If somebody's listening <laughs> in three years from Mo now. Uh, mon Monday, February 20th, 2023. Thank you. Yes. Yes, so what makes this really special is not only is not only that the Venus is starting her new cycle. Uh, Venus in my mind is a female, identifies as a female mm -hmm. in my mind. Venus starts her new cycle. It is also a new moon. Uh, they are like 50 minutes apart. Okay. February 20. 2023. <laughs> so that the new moon gives Venus a lot more power. Okay. A lot more influence that she already has. Now, Venus, Venus in astrology is considered the ruler of a Taurus. Okay. The sign Taurus. The bull. The bull. Yes. Taurus. See, I know my astrology. Yes, yes. I'm good at this. And Taurus is uh, symbolically associated with house two. Now, you don't have to understand Taurus, Venus, house two. But we will the, someday. We will someday, yes. House two has to do with our relationship with the material stuff of life. And with nature, because nature is actually the most basic part of material life, yeah. right? It's it's the thing that brings us uh, health. Exactly, it's what grounds us, right? So we we come into this existence, into this body, and we have to eat. We have to make use of material stuff. We have to interact with the natural environment, right? Uh -huh. Those are the most basic things, right? The most basic assets uh -huh. we have in order to express our humanity. And that's what house? 
that's the house two. Okay. The house two is symbolically associated with Taurus, the bull. Taurus is all about earth. Taurus is considered in Ayurvedic astrology an earth fixed sign. When we say fixed, think Kapha. Tor Taurus is as Kapha as you get in terms of signs. Okay. Right? So Taurus is associated with nature. When you when so I would have never have thought that being Taurus being associated with nature, but I'm glad you're starting to explain that. I would have thought Taurus would be more about anger or or uh, something of power. Yes, Taurus has a lot of power because Taurus in the zodiac is after Aries, mm -hmm. right? And Aries is all is fire cardinal. It's, okay. Uh, Taurus coming after Aries means is more grounded, but it has the influence of Aries. So don't get Taurus pissed. If you get it, you don't get a bull pissed. Exactly. Either. You ever Ex tried to milk a bull? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Right? Uh -huh. Exactly. You know better than to do that. So, house to Taurus, Venus rules Taurus. Venus is, most people, when they think Venus, they think love, right? Mm -hmm. Venus is, is not love. Venus is what we like, what we desire, what we are capable of loving. Venus is what we attract. Okay. Venus is, and when I say Venus is not love, Venus is not, oh, I love this. Oh, you're so nice. Oh, I love you. The divine in me loves the divine in you. <laughs> <laughs> blah, blah, blah. So Venus is not that. Venus is our likes and desires and what we attract. Mm -hmm. Venus <clears throat> is what we put our attention to, what, ma what makes us happy on a day-to-day -day basis. So I would like to put our attention to taking a break and starting back up after this. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Do you like what you hear? The Spartan Mind Strength Podcast is available on Apple Podcasts and all other popular podcast destinations. Please subscribe today and consider leaving us a rating and review. It helps us spread the word and help others find our content. Don't forget to leave a comment and any questions you may have. Tim and V would love to hear from you. And we're back and we're talking about Venetian or... Is that a blind or something like that? <laughs> Venetian blinds, right? Uh -huh. It's the, the new year of Venus. Okay. And this goes from... Tomorrow? Yes. For a year, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so the it, Venus starts a new year. Yeah. Okay. So with that, is is there anything, you know, like for me, does it fucking matter? What what does this matter to me to make my life better? Tell me what I need to do. Is there times, is there things that I should be doing, meditations, eating, what, what? Why do I need to know that this is the uh, Venetia times? You don't have to know any of this. You don't have to do any Good. of this. So can I go back to work? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can completely ignore everything I say right here. Think of it as an unfair advantage. Okay. I like those. So it is... If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. You can think of it like a New Year's resolution. But it is in line with the universal law okay. instead of the January 1st. Yep, I'm going to get fit. Now, I'm going to eat right. Yes. Yeah. It, it is actually men adding to your mental fitness. Now, Venus. Why Venus in particular? Because we said Venus likes, dislikes, what makes us happy on a day-to-day -day basis 
associated with Taurus, associated with house too. What that says astrologically is that paying attention to your likes and dislikes on a daily basis, it's going to help you become more grounded. Okay. And if you start to focus more of your likes and dislikes in terms of nature, if you bring in more nature into your life, that's going to ground you even more. Okay. My next question then is, so I bring in nature. Yes. But what about somebody next door? Do they do the same thing that I'm doing or is it completely different? What, where does this fit in for as a general for all humans or a very specific for one person? That's a great question. Just like when we are talking about Ayurveda, we say there are some things that work for everybody, no matter what, mm -hmm. to a different extent, right? But then each person, everyone is different. It's the same with the astrology, with the Ayurvedic astrology, with okay. the real astrology. There are some things that work for everybody to a different extent, and then there are the specifics for each person. So bringing in nature into your life, the person next door should be doing that also in a different way. Say you like uh, dogs, they like cats. Uh, you like uh, birds, they like flowers. It's just different. That's gonna help everybody. If everybody were following real astrology to a certain extent, this world would be a much better place. But there's only a few people that are actually following real astrology. They're, they're, uh, unfortunately, it's like backwards. It is so important. And it's like, why? Why doesn't anybody Everybody. teach us this, yep. right? When we are little, mm -hmm. we would be so much better off. So that's the idea of the, of knowing that. So by... So with this, so it's similar to like uh, Ayurveda where if you understand Vata Pita Kapha, mm -hmm. you know what you would be good at physically, mentally, and exactly. things like that. So you can enhance that. Exactly. This also gives you even more benefits. So... By knowing when you were born, when the charts are, when the... When certain transits happen. You, that all helps you to become a better human being. Exactly. It's going on a hike, right? It's mm -hmm. going on a hike and having kind of a map, mm -hmm. right? So even when you make the wrong turn... Take a left turn, there's a waterfall there. Exactly. And even if, when you make the wrong turn you can get back on the path again, mm -hmm. making the wrong turn, you can probably figure out something, it can help you figure out something that you wouldn't have figured out if you had stayed on the exact path, but you know to make a use of it. Okay, so it gives you a lot more uh, abilities to, because I know you talk about transits and yes. you talk about uh, squares and you aspects. Talk aspects yes uh, those things are can be good can be bad depending on what how you, do you with them. exactly but if you don't know that they're happening you don't know how to use them to become a better human being no knowing that they exist can help you become less discouraged and less lost through life can help you understand that you have a free will. Mm -hmm. You have complete free will. And there are certain times that are better for to some things than other things. Yeah. Exactly. Can it can help you understand the why. Mm -hmm. And understanding the why can help you figure out a better how. Okay. Now is there so there is how long are we in the Taurus phase in, or, in, a, in Aries, Aries okay. uh, Venus is going to be in Aries for about three weeks okay then Venus moves into Taurus 
moves into Gemini, moves into Cancer, moves into Leo, where she will be there for about four months, which is amazing. It's a great, great, great opportunity for the whole world. Then uh, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Mm -hmm. Aquarius, Pisces, and then back into Aries. So my final question before we're done, unless you have anything else, is... So we're in the Venetian times. Yes. Is there a uh, Librarian time? Like for Libras? Is there is there like a, a year of Libra that we look at? Is there a year of Scorpion that we look at? Is it just Venus or is all of the 12 signs have that? The answer is yes. You have that with every planet. But... Every planet goes around the zodiac, the complete zodiac circle, at a different pace. Okay. For example, Pluto, Mm -hmm. right? Pluto rules Scorpio, right? But uh, no human being is ever going to experience the whole Pluto transit around the whole zodiac. Long, long time. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Takes 200 some years, mm-hmm. right? So, but, but as the planets move around, we are all going to experience different situations okay. due to the aspects they form, their influence. So, Pluto is still extremely relevant. Yes. But in a different way. Isn't Pluto. Uh... The United States is it. Uh, it is very relevant, yes, to the, to, to the U.S. as a country. Okay. The reason we focused on Venus is because Venus takes approximately, very roughly speaking, a year okay. to go around the whole zodiac. But Venus is associated also with our inner talents. Mm. We said Venus likes, dislikes on a daily basis, yes. right? Venus, Taurus, house to our relationship with the material world. Okay. The more grounded we are, the more in control we are of our relationship with the material world, the closer to nature we are, right, the more we will be able to figure out our talents, our inner talents and skills. And it's very interesting that astrologically house too has to do with our relationship with the material world, food, money, possessions, and inner talents and skills what we come into this world with. with. They are considered possessions. Mm -hmm. They are very Mm -hmm. unique to us. So the more grounded we are, the more in control of our relationship with the material world we are, of our likes and dislikes Mm -hmm. on a daily basis, the higher chance we have to understand our inner talents and skills. And, and understand ourselves. And understand ourselves. It's going to make our whole life journey, for lack of a better uh-huh. term, so much more fulfilling. So astrology good. Astrology good. House 2 is the very first house we can control of 12 houses. There are 12 houses. House 1 we can't control. House 1 is... When we say, hello world, I'm here. Mm -hmm. House 2 is fully on us. Okay, excellent. So now say night-night and we'll be back next week. Have a very, very happy Venusian New Year. Until next time, much, much love from both of us. Namaste kala. May we all be well, adapt and thrive. If you found today's show helpful, please give us a rating, a review, or both, and subscribe to the podcast and never miss an episode. As always, namaste kala, which in Greek means 
may we all be well. This program, Copyright True Fitness Incorporated, all rights reserved.